Hello everyone, this is Guardian E with an Infernal Clear video for Fallen Takumi Empty Vessel. Let's jump right in with my main flyer team and show you guys how I'm going to be clearing this as well as point out some key things that you can look out for while you're trying to clear this Grand Hero battle. First up, uh, you can note, you make note immediately that enemy reinforcements will be appearing. Okay, so this one is pretty brutal for flyers generally, I would say. There are a couple of things to note. Uh, there are definitely going to be reinforcements, which is never a good sign. Takumi, uh, or Takumis, are equipped with Cancel Affinity 3, which is intended to counter Gron Raven Mages. Uh, Takumi is also equipped with this new weapon uh, that creates a large area of effect, essentially the middle four columns um, in this case uh, will be affected where enemies will be taking 10 damage at the end of turn three and get panic ployed. Uh, another thing to note is that these two healers in the middle both have uh, Savage Blow, which uh, can be pretty brutal in wearing down your team's HP if they're not taken care of accordingly. So, uh, this map seems to counter Blato Mages, Gron Raven Mages, Flyers. So how are we going to be approaching this particular Grand Hero Battle? Let's take a look at some of my units. Uh, first off, let's look at Hinoka, who's essentially equipped with my Hinoka Spear build. Uh, the key differences being that I slapped Close Defense 3 on her as the Seal and Renewal 3 as the B slot, just so that she can heal in between turns. Um, and tank more hits, and also uh, negate some of the effects of the Savage Blow uh, as we are taking on the Clerics. Uh, next up we've got Spring Camilla. Uh, Spring Camilla has my standard Speedster Gron Blade build. Uh, the key difference is that I went ahead and put Distant Defense 3 on her as the seal. Again, trying to mitigate as much damage as we can from you know, the relentless onslaught of these reinforcements. Yes. Next up, Summer Corrin, who has my standard Blarblade build. I slapped the attack plus three seal on her just uh, to ensure a couple of key kills uh, against color disadvantaged, or rather color advantaged enemies. And then That's there dumb. is New Year's Camilla, who has my Gale Force build. Uh, the only difference here in that, again, similar to Hinoka, I put Renewal 3 on her B slot, uh, again, so that she would be able to counter some of the effects of the Savage Blows that we're going to be taking. So first off, on turn 1, what we're going to want to do is make our way up the right-hand side, all while maintaining uh, T formation with Hinoka in the center to uh, get flyer buffs or specifically hone flyers on everyone. Fun. So we'll go ahead and take out Spring this block strong. here. Yes. And have yes. New Year's Camilla in the point lead position. Okay, so our goal on turn two should be to clear as much of the right side out as efficiently as we possibly can. So in order to do that, the very first thing we want to yes. use Summer Core to go ahead and take out this sword dragon. Okay, so in order to take out the Archer, uh, the Cav Archer Cavalier, I, I will want to use New Year's Camilla, so in order to do so, I'll have Got to it. reposition Corrin back with Hinoka, and yes, bring New Year's six. Camilla up. And then that also now clears the way for Spring Camilla to move into position and take out this Blue Mage. Okay, excellent. And then we will just wait. As I said, the savage blows and the debuffs can be pretty brutal on turn two. And then on turn three, we're also going to get debuffed by Takumi. 
So first thing we want to do is take out this green mage by using Summer oh, Core. So um, and with the Honed Flyers and both Goad, she is able to do that. Uh, and then we want to use New Year's yes, Camilla to take out this uh, cleric. We want to do that first yeah. because currently Spring Camilla cannot double this sword fighter. So what we yes. want to do is we want to take out the cleric first and then reposition back so that Spring Camilla sprung. has the goad of New Year's Camilla uh, on her attack turn. Best wishes. So let's take out this cleric. And we will reposition back. Beautiful. That gives Camilla the buff that she needs to take out this sword fighter. <laughs> and now that we have, since we have Gale Force active, I'm actually going Let's to move go. New Year's Camilla back a back a space. The reason for this is because if I keep Camilla here. Uh, this cleric will actually move up into position to, to attack Camilla and block off this Lance uh, Cavalier, which I don't want to do. I want this Lance Cavalier to move into position and attack Hinoka uh, and get killed on enemy phase. So in order to accomplish that, I'm going to go ahead and move New Year's Camilla back a space. Okay, excellent. So you will also note that I have Corrin in the corner here, and being all the way on the right-hand side enabled her to avoid the effects of Takumi's weapon on turn yes. three. So she actually has, uh, despite the, the the speed debuff from the cleric, she does have an attack buff, uh, and she is not she doesn't have a panic ploy effect. So the first thing I'll do is I will yes. move Hinoka to the side just to give Fine. Summer Corrin enough room to take out this cleric. She also, notably, has Desperation active. Both mages have Desperation active. Okay. Uh, so, you'll note that Spring Camilla actually loses this engagement. She only has 3 HP, but the reason I gave her the Distant Defense Seal is that she can actually tank and take no damage from this thief. Uh, on enemy phase. So all we're going to do instead is just go ahead and reposition back into position to safety. Yes. Sweet dreams. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to finish off this thief here with Spring Camilla. And then we're going to take out our first Takumi with Summer Corrin. Sink or swim. Excellent. At this point, we want to move Summer Corrin out of harm's way, so we're going to use New Year's Camilla Let's to go. reposition her back. Uh, this green cavalier is a threat, and in order to tank him, what we're going to have to do is reposition New Year's Camilla in his go. way. So we'll just move Hinoka up, reposition New Year's Camilla off to the left, where she will engage the Axe Cavalier. <clears throat> Okay, excellent. So, our goal at this point should be try to try to take out this Takumi here without engaging this Red Cavalier, since my positioning is a little bit scattered, and neither of my Blade Toe Mages have a, uh, a Honeflyer's buff at this point. 
And the best way to do that would be to move New Year's Camilla up. Yes. So that she can one round KO this Takumi. She has Gale Force active, which means that she can move back into Guess safety wishes. after the engagement. Yes. Okay. And as you can see, this is where Hinoka's spear comes greatly in handy uh, for maps like this. So we'll just move back. We'll move Spring Camilla off to the side just so that she gets a buff next turn from Hinoka. And now we'll just go ahead and use New Year's yes. Camilla again. Let's go. Okay, so that is the strategy that I employed with my main flyer team to clear Takumi, Empty Vessel, on Infernal. Uh, let me know in the comments below what strategies you utilized in your clear of this Grand Hero battle. I hope you enjoyed or were able to take away a couple of key tips from this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really does help us out. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, protect those guys.